It's Monday. It's June 19th, 2023. Um, I'm watching um, ABC News. Um, and on, it brings up this interesting thing. There was some fire uh, in one of the Episcopalian churches. Um, it was something referred to as the Messiah. Um, and they put on their, their warden's name and the fact that this person is actually claiming to be a warden of the church. Um, but it flies an Episcopalian flag at the Red Cross. Um, it's a growing concern, but I'm, and then I know that, um, I've seen Knights Templar use the same looking cross as on a white backdrop as the Episcopalians. So it, then I'm thinking, where were the Knights Templar originally? If I think back to the only man I've ever met that dressed up, I dressed up as a secret agent and he dressed up in a full, I, and he said he was going out as Knights Templar. Um, it was Halloween. Thought it was safe to wear those co two costumes. I had nothing else to wear. So whatever on that. Um, so we went out, um, briefly and he gave me like, not a real extensive history on it. Just that they were the, the there was something in history called the Crusaders. I just looked it up on to refresh my memory on Google, and it says whatever it says. It's a real brief. It's like this big in paragraph. It's one paragraph. That's all I needed to know. I they had some numbers. Nothing really like jumped out at me. So I'm just like whatever on that. Um, but I go to a church that has a very different crew. The warden is different. Um, and it's whatever it is at the, the one that I attend. Um, and so it feels more familial, although, um, the warden is whoever the warden is. Um, but the, the, the reverend part, um, and I did, I will make a note that for a while, um, Santos was, the, is the congressman next to Zion. For a few of the ceremonies, they had us singing Santos Dios, which I was not comfortable with. Um, but luckily, when the Bishop uh, Franklin came to visit, that was the first service where they stopped printing and making us sing the Santo Dios, which I greatly appreciated the change back to our regular program. Um, but I don't, again, like, I don't know what goes on in the day-to-day -day workings of um, Zion. I, again, participate in whatever way that I participate. Um, however, I did notice, and then there's also this third, um, like in my local area where I could walk to by foot, there's a different Zion, which I tried to attend. Um, I did not get the warm and fuzzy greeting that the one in Douglaston, um, brought forth. It was a very different feeling in the one in Bayside. Again, they lock the doors at some point. I don't know why. Um, so anyhow, don't really know what's going on in Bayside either. Don't really know the people. Um, so except like on my footpath, whom the familiar faces that I run into daily. Um, so I'm going to put on the mention of this church that burned because it upsets me when any of the churches burn. Um, but they do have out there this front facing um, warden, which is 
uh, very interesting when you take into context. Now, why, when the Crusades are documented in history uh, the way that they are, um, why is it that th this particular warden was chosen? I'm just curious. And then there's another piece about this morning uh, they had on the I Love New York for Tourism Bureau that I really don't see much of the model, like the models that they chose for brand advertising in New York. They did not pick anything that looked familial to myself. However, um, I am in a state of New York that uses this monetary and currency system still with the U.S. Treasury and the Fed, the federal, the federal notes know that this is the brand and the face and the bedrock of the place that I'm in. And then there's this, because again, like I'm in a state that on the license plates in New York, they're commissioned. They've got the M they've got reference empire state. Um, and then I'm like, there's like, I, again, I don't really know what they're using these things for in arguments, um, that are hidden from like people like myself. And I don't know why. Um, and then there it goes in from that to something called Kalahari resorts again, but yet those, um, that bunch is looking for some reparations from, I don't know who for, I don't know what it looks like they're vacationing and having a good old time, which I don't get to do that kind of stuff. And then um, it goes into some of the Eric Adams administration, like the DA and what they're looking like and what one of their lead reporters in the city look like. And again, I'm just like demographics and ratios of numbers. How have they ticked up or down uh, for each one of the differences, let's just say from 1930s till now, would be a really interesting study and number to know, um, to ground oneself in this, um, in this, like, I don't know, questionnaire or this poll, um, because it just, it just seems like something's not right. And it just feels like something is benefiting outside the scope of the norm. And I'm not quite sure where this like breach in national security is, but I can see some real areas of concern, which I've been, um, taking note of because there's also in the studio work um the the people that run the studios of artificial intelligence um they've been bringing out this nick fury character um who's not a blue blood and um they're showing him um in this theoretical like Marvel studio, like series. Um, this next one is called secret invasion and like, they can't really tell, but like, that's a serious problem for me in New York with aliens, extraterrestrials, monsters. And then like the human version, when I walk on the street, they don't look like the, I mean, like to do a theoretical men in black is, a humorous like one two three or international if you're just watching it like a kid and you know nothing but then if you dive into like the psychology of it and the the potentiality of it then all of a sudden it becomes real serious real quick and you're you're in like a whole new like how do you unsee that like how do you once you know and you're awakened to this fact and you walk out on the streets of new york like just by eyeballing it as myself who has this 
is what I was born to um, in like the the it's it's the presidential office. Um, it's the fed, federals. It's the so it's kind of like and then to not be able to find my pathway when I know that that exists and I know that it's functioning. It's just, it's, and then to see all of these studio work coming out with like their acknowledgements of this secret invasion and portraying who it looks like in one version, knowing that in like Men in Black, they came out with four movies, four different versions of it. So today is something that the humans have declared is called June 19th. They put it on something called a holiday schedule. I don't know who runs the holiday schedule. I don't know what it means. Um, I don't have like real intelligent beings to ask these things. I'm just, I only have myself and like this mirror, like recording ability and then whatever they throw out there which is confusing when there's no context like painted around it and there's no like interactive feature a devastating scene on long island where fire swept through a church that's more than 150 years old flames erupted in the basement of the church of the messiah in overnight in fire it's an Episcopal congregation, and members say the church was the first one ever built in central Iceland. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but still, much lost there. Right now, our church looks like um, one big burnt marshmallow. Seriously. The wood inside is from the original church built in 1869. And so that is the wood really that burned. And you can tell because the pews themselves are fine. Suffolk County Arson Squad now investigating. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg will have much more on this story in our next hour, including how many of the members found out about the tragedy. Lee, it is absolutely gorgeous out. And then here's what's going on in the um, CBS mornings. I think this one is E121. Um, it, the cover of it looks like this and, uh, just atmospherically today, I'm having a problem with walking. Um, I went out for two walks. I separated them by a few hours, but, um, there's something going on where like micro microgravity changes for lack of a better term. Um, it, the, my legs are feeling extremely heavy. Um, circulation is very difficult today out of nowhere. I don't know why I looked at the air quality. I've been now monitoring that it's been in the good zone at least, but like it says ozone primary pollutant and something else. Again, I don't, there's no education around this kind of stuff, but at least I have a monitor where I can watch the numbers, but I don't really know what it means but it does, it is comforting slightly. Um, so this way I can try to tailor my activities to whatever, um, is going on more as like a conscious choice, I suppose, but unconsciously something is very wrong with, uh, microgravity for me today. Um, it, unlike, um, uh, like on a gyroscopy balance way, it almost feels um, at times like um, like a slight concussion concussion that I'm working through and some m like um, memory like it's just and it's not like a memory. It, it's a hard thing to explain, um, but things you just not I don't feel as sharp. And then for my legs um, to start to have this real heaviness is a real problem. Um, and then a limp because the left side, there's something going on. Um, but it's, it's like that circulation of energy somewhere in 
Lewis made the definition that physics is your physical self and your physical being, and it's something metaphysics. So it's something in interstellar space as opposed to interstitial space. That's like my upgraded version of whatever it is that he was speaking to someone about. So today's this June 19th, um, which they call Juneteenth. Here's what on your corner, in your corner means to us. A promise to you will show up. There are students who, who have to deal with this whole ordeal. Where were you when you heard what happened? We'll be in your community. They see a black man yeah. in the classroom. Yeah. How much does that mean? It means a lot. We'll get answers. People feel like something needs to be changed. You're not going to get a uh, you know, denial from me. I, I, I know what's going on. Always looking out for you and your family. That's what on your corner, in your corner, is all about. And this is what Juneteenth looks and sounds like inside of New York right now. Across the nation are ma marking Juneteenth with celebrations and observances in New Jersey. Lawmakers commemorated the fall, the end of slavery in this country by discussing plans to... Again, she says nation. I don't know what nation. Like, it's supposed to be one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. That's what the pledge says that goes along with this and the flag while I've been here. Um, and on the back, it says in G-O-D, in God we trust. Um, I don't know like where this rule breaking comes in and how people are acting in accordance or outside in gray areas. Um, but I'm watching this and I'm just with a keen eye. I'm like, mm. yes. we in New Jersey deserve to not only know the truth, but armed with that information and that collected knowledge to take action on rectifying the ills of our past. Let us repair the damage that was done. The New Jersey Institute of Social Justice announced the launch of its Reparations Council. The council will study what can be done in the state to repair the lasting impacts of slavery. It will also hold public hearings and consider the possibility of payments to descendants of slaves. Today's announcement in Perth Amboy came at this site where the first boats of enslaved Africans docked in New Jersey. Meanwhile, a vibrant... It's also a good point that crew that was there that does not look um, like this type of family tree for myself or on the monetary notes. Um, that is what has presented itself as African in my lifetime. Um, they refer to me as European. And they refer to themselves as African, mostly, although now there's some AAPI or Asian Pacific that's, and then now there's some Latins that are fighting for attention and a microphone. But it originally, for the longest time, was dominated by some, um, like, African movement, um, or that's the umbrella of activism that was very prominent for a long time. Now there, the activism is split into three groups, but all congregating and growing larger in numbers um, in what is, is not necessarily anything. I mean, again, I'm RH sensitive, so I don't have like RH positive, ABO, like whatever, I mean, so I don't really know um, how to even preface that. I'm not, like that's like a a nanophyte as a inside of a, a microcosm of possibilities how that could go sideways, which I'm tr not trying to do necessarily, um, but I am just trying to make notes because it is going on um, while I'm here. Um, also. What's going on? What are my environmental challenges? What are my interstellar space challenges uh, with my physical interstitial space? 
meaning the cellular as opposed to the outer space and any type of um, health shifts that I'm having um, and just trying to document that in a way um, I guess that is more seen as plausible um, because I don't want to have a, a problem with the amount of degrees that this particular group of humans have accumulated while denying me access to the same level of education. I should mention that um, they're the one representative, Maria, um, who was from across the street from when I was younger. Um, she was able to obtain a bachelor's and a master's degree. There was nobody standing in her way. Um, but I definitely had at several points like these blockages, which meant I never actually got to finish. And one in particular, it was a one-on-one -on -one degree planning class. And she very really did not pass me through the class, which denied me the bachelor's, which sent other things going out, which threw me into tailspin again. Um, but it seems like they keep purposely doing this and I seem to be the target and I don't know why, but now I'm documenting just how many times it's happened because I don't know how to like move around it or get myself into a better position. And now my health is failing. Um, and I don't know if that has, like, again, with air quality and stuff, with, like, tumor-causing stuff that they're putting out into the atmosphere, which um, I don't know if that's part of this new air quality test that they're at least giving some kind of measurement to an acknowledgement. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's star 1978, star 378, Nicole Ketterositz, Earth. Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.